In this app, we have the six different types of alignment in the Flutter text widget. And those are start text alignment, end text alignment, left text alignment, right text alignment, center text alignment, and justified text alignment. In this video, we will look at exactly what each of these types of alignment does to text. This is the Flutter coach, and without further ado, let's dive in. A point to note, in order for text alignment to work, the text widget must have a parent with a definite width. This parent could be either a container or a sized box with a defined width, or even an expanded widget. Now the expanded widget is a special type of widget, so to learn more about it, check out my expanded video which should be popping up on a card right now. Now let's go ahead and look at each of these types of alignment. First up is start text alignment. Here we have a very simple app. This is the default code that gets created when you start a new Flutter project. I have changed the title and I have also removed all the comments that come along with the code. Now inside the scaffold of this app, in the body property, we have a sized box whose width we have set to 200 pixels. And inside this sized box, we have a text widget. And the text is a simple line which is start text alignment. Let's go ahead and build this without modifying or tampering with the alignment so that we see what it looks like. And here is our text. We can see that it starts from the left, the far left. Now let's go ahead and modify the alignment property. Now in the text widget, if we hold down control and space, we can see our properties here and text align is the one we are interested in. So we we'll go ahead and select that. And if we hover over it, we see that it takes a text align as an input. So let's go ahead and type in a text align and we choose start let's rebuild this we can see that we have no difference in our text and the reason for this is the start alignment sets the text to start from the beginning of the flow direction now by default we write from left to right so if you set this to start alignment it will start from the far left as you can see here and if we go ahead and change the text direction property and set it to start from right to left and then rebuild we can now see that our text starts from the far right and so the start alignment follows the text direction it sets the text to begin according to the direction of the text direction one thing to note is that if you change your text direction to right to left as we have done here the last punctuation mark in your text moves to the far left of your text just something to watch out for. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this text direction property and rebuild. So this is what start text alignment looks like. And this is the default text alignment in the Flutter text widget. So that's it about start alignment. Let's get rid of this. Next, we will look at end text alignment. Let's go ahead and put in that text and rebuild. We can see that start text alignment has been applied to this. So now let's go ahead and change the alignment to end. Let's rebuild this. We can see that now our text has moved to the far right, meaning that it is now being aligned to start from the very end with regards to text direction. Let's go ahead and change our text direction to right to left, and then reload this. And now the reverse has happened because now this time the text direction is from right to left. The end is the far left. And so that's where the alignment property sets the text to begin from. Let's now look at the next alignment option. We'll get rid of this. The next alignment option we'll look at is left text alignment. So let's go ahead and put in the text, and then reload. And this is our text with the default alignment. Let's go ahead and change this to left alignment, and then reload. We can see that still there is no change. And that is because now the text is being aligned to start from the left. And the difference between this and start text alignment is that even if we change the text direction property, let's go ahead and change that to right to left, and then reload, still our text starts from the far left. Of course, you can notice that now our full stop is on the far left of the text, which we have seen happens when you change the text direction property, but still our text is aligned to begin from the left. Let's get rid of this. Are you enjoying this video so far? Please consider liking it and subscribing to this channel. Let's go on.
Let's now look at right text alignment. Go ahead and put that text in. Reload. There's our text with default alignment. Let's go ahead and change this alignment to right. Then reload. And now our text has been aligned to the far right. Even if we change the text direction property and reload, still our text is aligned to the far right. But you can see that now our full stop is on the far end of our text, which is to the left. Let's go ahead and look at the next alignment option. We'll get rid of this. Our next alignment option is center. So let's go ahead and put in some text. And then reload. And there's our text with default alignment. So now let's go ahead and set this alignment to center. Then reload. And now we see that our text has been centered. Let's go ahead and look at the next alignment option. Let's get rid of this. Our next alignment option is justified. Let's go ahead and put in some text and reload. And here's our text with default alignment, which is start text alignment. Now, as we modify this alignment to justified, I want you to take note of this space here and this space as well and see what happens to those. So let's go ahead in the code and change the alignment to justified and reload. And here is our text with justified alignment. And you can see that now in both of these lines, the text goes all the way to the end. So what this kind of alignment does is it adjusts the spacing between the words in a line to make sure that the line occupies all the space from the beginning to the end. And those are the six different types of text alignment in the text widget in Flutter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will help you out. And if you have any other comments, leave them in the comment section as well. And if you have found value in this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you can get notified each time I upload a new video. This has been the Flutter Coach and I'll see you in the next one.